Nimen Hao Pangyaman, welcome back to Jet Li's Rise to Honor. Is this the way up to the club? It is, if you're on the guest list. I'm looking for a friend. Just be a minute. If you're not on the list, you're not going up. Throw him out, the hard way. Last time we made our way away from uh, Hong Kong and into San Francisco to track down Boss Chang's daughter to uh, give her his final words. One final, uh, one final envelope, I guess. But of course, the club is very exclusive and we're not invited. He's mine! These big guys aren't really anything special, they just they just have a lot of health. That's about it. Your losing streak never ends, Chi. It's time to quit and pay up. My money is in my other pants, I swear! Enough of your excuses. I thought I might find you a I'm gonna tear you apart, little man. <laughs> So, Chi, Kit, and Michelle are all actually childhood friends, although Chi's never given a last name. I'm just gonna assume his... well, he's only given the one name. I'm just gonna assume his name is Shei Chi. It's a, it's a Chinese joke. Anyway, um, he tries to help out in this fight. He, uh, he throws bottles at people. It... it kinda works. He's a helper. He does his best. And he's he's complete. Uh, he's ready with the uh, piety one-liners. Like, how about a shot? That's that's a nice one. I like it. Oh yeah, this game does have a uh, you know a basic weapon system, though. I find that single-handing weapon isn't very effective. Uh, you can hold two weapons, and I find that's a lot more effective. If you do a uh, adrenal attack with a weapon, then Jet Li just kind of turns into kind of this whirlwind of of stuff. Yeah, he, he just kind of turns into a whirlwind of, of swinging his weapons, and anything he gets in the way just kind of gets wrecked. You can't throw your weapons, of course. Thirsty? Oh, 
get him. Ken, what are you doing here? Looking for you. I need your help. Where did he come from? You crashed my club. Now you'll pay. This fine young man is a uh, drunken boxer. As such, he is rather evasive. Though there is a way to slow him down, which is pretty important, especially if you want to pull off long combos. If you dunk you if you dunk his head in the water, he sits there and has to cough it up for a minute. And at that point is when you can, you know, sit here and unleash your adrenaline combos. Though if you're not careful, he can grab your head and dunk it underwater too, so you know, careful for that. Keep it up, kid! Watch out, kid! Keep it up, kid! I see you haven't changed. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so you need my help? I need to find Michelle. Oh. Let's see how you handle a real fighter. <laughs> I don't think this guy really does anything special as far as countering you and bashing your face into the wall. Sometimes enemies just like to do that. It seems like the sort of thing you should be able to do to them, but if there is a way, I don't know about it. Anyway, the fight's nothing special, it's just close quarters. Get him. With these guns? Oh, 
I see you get it covered. Why are you looking for Michelle? Her father has been assassinated. You and me both need to find out Don't worry, Quan. Looks like our girl's being honored at the Metreon in a half hour. Metreon? I'll show you. Take Come on. There. What was that? Check it out. There he is. Go. Go. Be careful, Ken. You know, seeing that kind of stunt with the fire escape is all the more impressive because I'm pretty sure it's actually been in a movie. If you weren't already used to using the environment to shoot things down on top of enemies that are entrenched behind things, this section of the game is really going to try and get you used to doing it because there's going to be a lot of enemies with high power weapons behind boxes or things that you can't get behind and you'll have to knock them down somehow. Or you'll just get torn apart by automatic weapons fire, you know, it works. Yeah, sometimes that happens. I'll have to apologize if I'm kind of yelling a little bit. I haven't auto, I haven't uh, lowered the game audio yet, so I've got it really loud in my ears, so it's kind of hard to even hear myself talk. The game does have something of a cover system, but it's not very good. I mean, you'll sit behind cover and you'll pretty much you'll be invulnerable to anything that, you know, comes flying your way. The problem is that the only way to shoot from out of cover is to jump out of cover. So you can't really Yeah, you know, I mean it's it's really only there for defense and it has no offensive uh applications at all. I mean not the worst thing for a for a 2004 game. Sounds like this kid guy caused our boys on the street some major trouble. They're incompetent. Billy sent us...
Wait a minute. I can't use these guns. These belong to a dead guy. So this little arena is going to serve as another another tutorial on countering, just in case you haven't gotten it yet. All of these guys uh, do a fairly damaging grapple on you, but you can do a really damaging counter on them. It Take seems... This. And see, part of the problem okay. is it kind of gets you used to looking for that weird little two-step they do when they run up to you to know, hey, counter a grapple. The problem is I don't think, like, maybe one other arena has enemies do that weird little two-step before they do a grapple. That's about it. So, pretty much anywhere else you see grapplers, they, they don't really do that? It's just you and me now. It's an inconsistent tell. Kind of like having... If you had the guys with the ponytails always be guys who do the weird little, uh the long combos, you know, I, do, I would expect that, but they don't do it. Anyway, this guy's a big old jerk. He's just a big old, big old slab of beef. You just gotta, just gotta beat him up. Sometimes he'll pick you up and, uh, and throw you, like the ultimate warrior, and he's a, he's a big old jerk and I hate him. I do have to apologize for any uh, for any visual uh, glitching here. I feel like those umbrellas you see in the background, uh, trying to figure out how they are as you know, uh, free floating assets, are kind of freaking out and causing the game to think a lot harder than it's used to thinking. So, yeah. This right here is another kind of enemy arena we'll see now and then. You'll just have a whole bunch of guys that have these really, really obvious tells. You know, like they do that really gigantic wind up and come running at, running at you with an arm raised. When they get to you, they'll they'll do some sort of like a single swing. It'll send you flying, and it does a decent amount of damage. But these guys are all incredibly weak. There's no there's no variance to them. the The challenge here is that there's just a ton of them and they, they attack asymmetrically, like they don't care what the other guys are doing, they're just gonna attack. In fact, this enemy type of arena is responsible for what I think is probably the most frustrating arena in the game, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge.
so the final section of this video will be a motorcycle fight, because why not? You can just jump over these guys, but what the game really wants you to do is counter them when they're coming at you, so you can knock them off the motorcycles. I don't... I'm not sure if it's possible to knock them off without, uh, without countering. Yeah, all they're gonna do is try and run into you, and if they do, everybody goes flying, but... I mean, they're... it's interesting. I enjoy it. I think it maybe goes on a little too long, but no, it's a, it's a really neat set piece. I don't know how this... how all the cars in the, uh, in the tunnel backed up like that, but I mean, you know... San Francisco traffic, it is what it is. Once you've knocked the motorcyclists off their bikes, they really don't take much to put down. They only take one hit. The problem is, if they do manage to get back up, they hop back on their bikes and then you have to knock them down all over again. Just like real life. At a certain point, it seems like the random guys coming in on the sides have had enough, and they just kind of take off. But they still they still spawn in for a little bit. I don't I don't really know what's up with that. Kid, there you are. Get in. So, when was the last time you saw Michelle? Not since my mother and I left Hong Kong.